Before humans were appointed by Allah to rule over the earth, it was the jinn who held dominion. However, corruption spread among the jinn, and they rejected God's messages. Among the most devout jinn was Iblis, a creature of exceptional piety who worshipped Allah fervently. His devotion was so profound that he had traversed every corner of heaven, worshipping Allah and earning a place among the angels. Yet, when Allah created Prophet Adam, peace be upon him, Iblis's refusal to bow down to this new creation led to his tragic fall from grace. Allah, in response, cast Iblis out of paradise, crushing his status and turning a once pious being into a disgraced creature, and he earned the name Satan, which means deviating, misguiding, and disobedient creature. Iblis was among the jinn, supernatural beings created by Allah from smokeless fire, endowed with free will to choose between good and evil, making them morally accountable for their deeds. The jinn flourished on earth, but gradually their collective turning away from Allah's messages paved the way for discord and disobedience. Wars erupted, turning the once pristine earth into a battleground. Iblis wasn't an ordinary jinn. He was allowed by Allah to be among the angels. With wings glowing in divine radiance, Iblis worshipped Allah alongside angels. In a moment of divine revelation, Allah, in his boundless wisdom, announced to the angels his decision to appoint humans as stewards of earth, entrusting them with a divine role that involves moral accountability, the potential for praise and worship, and the exercise of free will. Upon the completion of Adam's creation, Allah's plan was to breathe life into him. At that miraculous moment when Adam would come to life, Allah commanded the angels to prostrate before Adam as a sign of recognition and respect. Iblis, who was then among the angels, heard this declaration, but disliked this idea, feeling that being made from fire made him superior to Adam, created from clay. Allah shaped Prophet Adam into a human form, which reminded a lifeless figure for forty years, awaiting the divine breath of life. During this period, Iblis, clouded by arrogance, sought to challenge Allah's decree. Passing by Adam's figure, he buffeted it, creating a sound like pottery. Discovering that he could flow into the hollow figure, Iblis recognized its vulnerability, easy to be exploited. When Allah breathed the soul into Prophet Adam, the angels prostrated, but Iblis, driven by defiance, refused to bow. Allah dismissed Iblis from the ranks of angels. His disobedience led to his expulsion from paradise, and he was cursed by Allah until the Day of Judgment. After being expelled, Iblis requested respite until the Day of Judgment, a request granted by Allah. Iblis vowed to mislead humanity. He pledged to approach them from various angles, tempting them away from the righteous path. Iblis understands human vulnerability well, so he tempted Adam and Eve to eat the fruit that Allah had forbidden. He enticed the couple with promises of eternal life and power, playing on their desire for everlasting joy. Unable to resist, Adam believed that eating the fruit would grant him immortality and bring him closer to Allah. However, Adam and Hawa soon realized they had been deceived by Iblis. In his mercy, Allah forgave their transgression upon their sincere repentance. Nevertheless, Allah instructed them to descend to earth, guiding Adam and his descendants away from the state of paradise. Allah knew that life on earth would be tough, filled with challenges for humans. Therefore, he instilled hope by emphasizing that those who follow his guidance would be liberated from fear and grief. On earth, Iblis rallied the rebellious jinn and his descendants to join him in his mission to deceive Adam and his children, turning them away from Allah. Iblis, along with all the creatures involved in this mission to mislead humans, earned the ominous title of Satan. Their method involves whispering malevolent suggestions into the hearts of humans, exploiting their vulnerabilities and desires, distorting truths, spreading falsehoods, and undermining faith and morality. Satan influenced Kabil, the son of Adam, instigating the first murder in the history of humankind as he killed his own brother. Throughout history, Satan has operated behind the scenes, influencing humans to propagate corruption, division, and destruction among themselves. Satan has employed various deceptive strategies to mislead humans, including promoting idol worship, misleading people into venerating false deities, and steering them away from the central tenet of Tawheed, the oneness of Allah. 
They teach humans to engage in magic and sorcery, disrupting the divine order and deceiving them into thinking that committing sins appears attractive, enjoyable, or fulfilling in the short term. In his boundless mercy, Allah sent prophets to different periods in history and various communities, guiding and reminding humanity about the right path, providing moral teachings and warning against the influence of Satan. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, imparted numerous warnings and guidance to Muslims regarding the deceptive tactics of Satan. His teachings underscored the importance of recognizing Satan's role as an adversary and seeking protection from Allah through prayer, recitation of specific chapters of the Quran, and maintaining a vigilant and God-conscious lifestyle. The battle between good and evil persists until the Day of Judgment. Iblis and his army tirelessly work to deceive everyone, and the influence of Satan remains apparent in every aspect of our lives. Nevertheless, those who follow Allah's guidance need not fear, while those who disobey Allah and follow Iblis will be damned along with him.